I was riding my bike. We were in the car together and we were hit. And it did not stop. Mm -hmm. It hit me. Pretty much hit me head on. I got hit from behind. My leg was broken in uh, several places. I had many fractures and then I get that phone call and he's been hit. I knew right away something wasn't right. My injuries were getting worse. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what was going on. And that's when I knew I had to give you a call. I said, who can I call to help me again? Jet Dietrich. Oh, that was amazing. When I got a hold of you guys and you guys took care of everything. It was almost like I felt led to reach out to you. It was almost like I felt led to reach out to you. And I called you and you handled that thing. I mean, you handled it. I calmed right down because you explained everything. You came right to the house. Contact Jed. You guys took that load off of me. What I didn't know, you guys filled me in. I knew that I was in good hands and people that I could trust. Contact Jed. When you're suffering, to know someone is there for you. That means a lot, Jed. It made me feel comfortable that all I had to do was focus on my recovery. You stand by your word. It just felt right. I didn't have to deal with the insurance company anymore. Putting yourselves in my shoes, and I, and I really appreciated that. I just knew that it was gonna be taken care of. Contact Jed. Yeah, you're a real fighter. The whole experience in general was amazing. It was superb. A weight off my shoulders. Contact Jed. Above and beyond. That's someone who you should go for. I would only trust Jed Dutrick. Contact Jed. I'm Jed Dietrich, and in the following 30 minutes, we're going to provide you with important information that you need if you've been injured as a result of someone else's negligence. Contact me at 716-839-3939. I'm Jed Dietrich. Thank you for joining us. I'm here with Daquan and Alfie, and they're going to talk a little bit about Daquan's injuries. Daquan, good to see you. Uh, pleasure. Thanks for coming in. Yes. Alfie, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Now, we, we have to tell the people back home how this little meeting came about. Uh, Daquan, you were injured? Yes. Okay. Yes, I was. And uh, we just settled your case recently. Yes. yes and you were in my office right here, and uh, we sat down and chatted a little bit about how, how the case went. And when you were talking to me, I said, these people have information that other people want. So we said, mm -hmm. let's do another presentation. So we brought you in, that was what, last week? Yes. Brought you right in. So mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. uh, last week when we were speaking, um, Daquan, tell us uh, what it was about my firm that you thought uh, was important to you and why you called us. Well, a few years ago, I, uh, I watched your infomercial. And on the infomercial, the, everyone seemed to be so genuine and honest uh, that I just wanted to give you guys a try, but just based off of that. And you saw that infomercial mm -hmm. about a year before you were injured. Yeah, so a year or, or even two years before, no before I was injured. So What was it about the infomercial that you watched a couple of years ago that impressed you to continue to watch it? The testimonies of, of the people. Um, like I said, I, I feel I have a great discernment of people who are honest and mm -hmm. genuine, and uh, I just love the, the testimonies. That's pretty much what turned me to reaching out to you. And, and I'm glad you did, uh, and I'm glad we resolved the case the way we did. Uh, you worked with me and then my associate in the office, and uh, you were in the hospital. Let's talk a little bit about that. What was your injury? Explain it. My leg was broken in uh, several places from a car accident. And I was actually traveling down to 190 North, coming home from work, and uh, a vehicle merged onto the 190 North. But instead of continuing the flow of traffic, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, it decided to turn the other way, go on the opposite side of traffic, and pretty much hit me head on. You know, he's traveling southbound while all the flow of traffic was was traveling northbound. Mm -hmm. So. Um, after the injury, I knew right away something wasn't right. So um, uh, I, I just got, became very anxious and there was a lot of anxiety there. Uh, I knew I was hurt. I have a wife, I have four children. Mm -hmm. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to go to work. With the budget being tight as it is, trying to take care of a family, I just was so anxious and didn't know what, um, what I was gonna do, you mm -hmm. know? But while I was in the hospital, uh, after my surgery, your infomercial came on, and that's when I knew I had to give you a call. I'm Jed Dietrich. 
Thank you for joining me. I'm here to talk to you about trucking cases and injuries as a result of a trucker's negligence. If you've been injured as a result of a trucker's negligence, contact me at 716-839-3939. That's 716-839-3939. Well, I'm, I'm so glad you did call at that point in time. How long were you in the hospital, Daquan? I, I stayed in the hospital a week. Uh, one of your associates came to visit me uh, and the biggest thing that uh, was the selling point was he made me feel comfortable that all I had to do was focus on my recovery. And that's what we try to do. We try to allow you to recover, get to the right doctors, the right specialists. We will handle the paperwork for you like we did for you, Daquan. We, there are strict time limitations applicable to bringing an injury case. If you don't get your paperwork filed, your medical bills won't be paid and you won't be able to make a claim for your pain and suffering. This is what we do. This is what we focus on. This is all we do in my office are serious personal injury cases. And, and frankly, we take pride in handling cases Cases such as yours, Daquan. Thank you. Thank you. You guys did, a, did, did an excellent job. Everyone was uh, very caring. Uh, it seems like you guys really put yourselves in my shoes. So That's what we try to do. We try to treat you the way we want to be treated. We live by the golden rule. And uh, I know that you are both uh, God-fearing people, your church people. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about your background there. Uh, yes, I'm actually a, a deacon in my church uh, in, in Niagara Falls. So. Yeah, f faith is very important very, very uh, to important my family. Absolutely. And it's almost like I felt led to, to come uh, to reach out to you guys. It was yes. the atmosphere. Everyone, you know, just seemed to be so pleasant and, and it just felt, it felt right. Thank you for saying mm -hmm. that. We take pride in representing you. We try to wear the white hat when it comes to being a lawyer in our community. The legal business is a confrontational business and I'm a competitor and I wanna win for you. And what does that do? It allows me to make a recovery for you, work hard for you, treat you the way I wanna be treated such that you can get the best result possible. So Alfie, tell us a little bit about Daquan's case and your interaction with our office. I worked late that evening and I was not even in the house 15 minutes and then I get that phone call and, and I didn't think it settled in at first because I didn't really know the details. They just mm -hmm. said he was in the hospital, you should get up here and I could see he was in shock and I said, oh my goodness, this is, this is for real. He's been hit. And so it was just like, that's when it hit me like really hard, like, wow, he's really going to need a lot of care and just coming from the medical field, just seeing people going through similar situations. And they used to tell me testimonies and stuff, you know, in the family of how taking care of a loved one, 24 hour care, regardless if it's from an accident, stroke, heart attack. I mean, it's a, it's a process. Sure. I had to stop working. It's a, a huge life change. Daunting. It is draining after a while because it's just like, wow. Well, what huge. we do is we try to help you through that. And folks out there, if you're injured, contact me at 839-3939. Uh, what we do is we explain to you under New York state law, your medical bills and your wages are paid in an automobile collision mm -hmm. by your insurance company. That's important. So you have a $50,000 policy at least, that's the minimum in New York, sometimes it's even more, to pay for your, your lost wage and your medical bills. However, the insurance companies are in the business of cutting people off and paying you the, the smallest amount they can. So what we do is we fight your insurance company and the other person's insurance company to get you everything you're entitled to. So that no fault part is your insurance company to pay for the bills at the hospital, whether it's ECMC or Niagara Falls Memorial. And those bills will trickle in and the ambulance bill will come in because they won't know how to bill the right person. So I have a team of legal professionals professionals that make sure that those bills are paid. We also make sure that you get your wage reimbursement from that no-fault insurance company, which is huge, because you're going to keep getting your gas bill and your rent bill and everything yeah, else that comes into your life. That, that's yeah. definitely. You got four kids at home, you got to make sure that food's on the table for them. So Absolutely. what we do is we try to make it as easy as possible to go through the system by returning every phone call within one business day, usually the same day. We try to really focus on that. And I've got 17 legal professionals here that are dedicated to helping you 
get through your problem, to get rehabilitated, to get back on your feet. That's what we try to do. So the communication was fantastic. You rather if it was phone call, email, just to be able just to put my 100% focus on him, that was fantastic. That was huge. That was huge. huge. Yeah, that's what we try to do. We try to make it so all you have to do is get your doctor's appointments and concentrate on your recovery to make the swiftest recovery possible and the best mm -hmm. recovery possible and, and we help you by making sure your medical bills are paid making sure the doctors are writing the proper reports making sure if you've had a prior injury that we've got your prior records to compare with your new injuries so that this is all part of the business in our office we only handle serious injury cases we don't handle other types of cases and that is to allow us to become the best we can to represent you the mission statement of my law firm is to provide the highest level of personal injury service and what does that mean it means I periodically, uh, typically on a weekly basis, will bring my whole staff into my office here. And we'll sit down and I'll say, okay, these are the things we need to focus on every single day. We have to make sure every phone call is returned within one business day. We have to make sure we treat others the way we want to be treated. And we have to make sure that we are working hard the whole time we're here at work to obtain the best possible result for you. Absolutely, and you guys, from my case, you hit on all those points, yeah. Absolutely. Every, like the communication within t 24 hours, I, I had a response. Most times when we call, we, I was given an answer. So, <laughs> but if, if you guys had to get back to me, it was definitely within, within the 24 hour period. So uh, great job uh, to your staff. Thank that. you so yeah. much, Daquan. And, and to that point, I'll, I'll, I'll address that point directly because people call and every once in a while there'll be a question, we don't know the answer. This is a big difference between my law firm and the other law firms out there. We're not gonna give you an answer with, which is a guess. We'll say to you, and I've trained my staff to do this. I do this myself and I train my staff to do this. If we don't know the answer, say I'll call you back take the number, we've obviously got your number, we'll get back to you sometime within the next 24 hours with an answer. That allows us to take a question that we don't know the answer to, research it, and get back to you so we give you the right information. As opposed to coming up with something that might not be the right information because we don't know, just right. to try to move along with our day, which is not the way that we run the office here. We run the office in a way that allows us to, to drill down and assist you with your cases. I felt like we didn't have to worry about anything. We didn't have to worry about like what's going to happen next or when's the next court date or what paperwork, like I said before, we got to fill out. And it can be mind boggling and stress, especially one from my perspective of trying to handle all the regular home business for the family and sure. the husband. And then just to have reassurance of n not worrying about that part of the perspective of mm -hmm. it, uh, it was, it was, definitely great and, and again I encourage everyone out there if you've been injured through someone else's negligence it's not your fault you've got an injury contact me at 716-839-3939 I'm Jed Dietrich from the Dietrich law firm we have 17 legal professionals here at the office to assist you our mission statement is to provide the highest level of personal injury service to you and Daquan and Elfie are here talking about Daquan's injuries he had a very significant uh, injury to his leg how are you doing now uh, I'm on the road to recovery. I think the process is uh, going a lot faster because I didn't have to worry about anything else. Simply focus on uh, the, my, my physical therapy. Sure. Uh, just learning how to walk again. So uh, things are moving along pretty swiftly. I, I feel the, I feel the progress is probably actually ahead of of head of where I should be. Good, and I know it was a very significant injury. I want everybody to know out there, and, and you, Daquan and Elfie, that we're here for you even after the case settles, because your case is done, we've provided you with your settlement proceeds, uh, but you're still having some problems. So if you have a bill or something that comes in, we're here for you even after it's done. We're here in the future. If you obviously have a problem, I hope that you don't, or your yeah, friends and family not, in the future. But... We are here to help people who have been injured through someone else's negligence. And if you're injured, we're here to make it easier for you. And that's what we try to do with you folks. Wow. Definitely made us feel comfortable. And Absolutely. that means a lot from, from you folks for coming to provide this presentation. And also the fact that you're God-fearing people, you're church people, you're people that support four kids, you're, you're workers, you're at work. 
all of that comes into the background of a good situation where we're going to work together because it's a team situation. Yeah, cool. yeah. Um, you're familiar with being at work, working in team situations. You are too, Alfie, from being at Niagara Falls Memorial Medical. Now it's a matter of, okay, we've got this problem. Let's correct it, make it as good as we can as we go along and do it together by communicating. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. When I got a hold of you guys and you guys took care of everything. It was almost like I felt led to reach out to you. It was almost like I felt led to reach out to you. And I called you and you handled that thing. I mean, you handled it. You explained everything. Above and beyond. Contact Jed. Thank you for joining me. I'm Jed Dietrich. I'm here to talk to you about trucking cases and injuries as a result of a truck driver's negligence. If you've been injured as a result of a truck driver's negligence, contact me at 716-839-3939. Thank you for joining me. I'm Jed Dietrich. We're here talking to Daquan and Alfie about Daquan's injury. He was injured as a result of a big truck driver's negligence. He was driving a blazer and a big truck uh, impacted Daquan, and uh, it was a significant impact which took you out of work for quite a while, Daquan. Yes, yes. How long have you been out of work so far? I currently have been out of work for three months. We've resolved your case, it's done, but you're still out of work, so we're still here to help you. I want people to know, know that out there. Yes, thank you. Elfie, tell us a little bit about your four kids and how they reacted to Daquan being the breadwinner, him being injured and really being out of commission. They were upset, they were concerned, but at the same time they were more of a help to me per se because of the ages they are and they were able to help assist me with little things of whatever he needed as far as food or to little as the remote to the TV, anything. They were quick to hop and jump and they were more ready to help me get his their father on a road of recovery so they can get back to playing with him because they spent a lot of time together. So they were more focused on helping me getting him back to healing so they can have their time with their dad again. So. And, and again, that's important for people out there to understand. You were helping Daquan uh, get back on the road to recovery, but that takes you away from your four kids yes. and helping them. We're here to make that as easy as possible. So if a bill goes to your house, just send it to us or take a picture of it and email it to us. We'll make sure that bill gets paid. And if your no fault company is not sending you the check on time or something, that is our core duty to make sure that your wages are paid. So. Uh, on a weekly basis, I'm with my staff saying, is everyone's wage payment going out this week? And if it's not, or there's a problem with the disability note, we get on the horn with the doctor, send the disability note to us, we'll send it into no fault, call the no fault adjuster, make sure the no fault adjuster will send the check. When you make sure the no fault adjuster sends the check, then we call you back and we say, we talk to no fault, everything's lined up, we're gonna get you that check so that you can pay your bills. That's Absolutely. fantastic. That's exactly what you did. Uh, there was a time delay initially with that and, and you, gave, you gave me a personal phone call letting me know between uh, my job and, and no fault that uh, they needed to get the, themselves into gear. And uh, <laughs> yes, so they did. Yes, they did. I, I appreciated that because uh, I'm trying to recover. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what was going on. You guys took that load off of me. What I didn't know, you guys filled me in in a very timely manner. So I appreciate you reaching out, putting yourselves in my shoes, and I, and I really appreciated that. Every single client in my office is my client. I give every single client my cell phone number, uh, and that works out fine because typically, if it's an important issue, I'll call you up directly off my cell phone. Right. You'll know it's coming from me. If it's an issue that's not as important, then we'll talk during the day, whether it's between eight and six at our regular hours, um, or I'll have you come in and we'll do a meeting. And the best part of your case was, was the last meeting when I was in a position to provide you with your check yeah, and absolutely. we sat down and then you gave me the feedback about yes. what it was like to work with my firm. And yeah. frankly, the genesis of this particular presentation is uh, Daquan and, and Elfie, and I wanna thank you again You're for, for coming no, in. And we want to say thank you for all your help as well. Thank you so much, You're Elfie. Welcome. Yes, it's Thanks, been a pleasure. Thank no, you. My pleasure. Yeah. I'm Jed Dietrich and I'm here to help you. Contact me at 716-839-3939. Jed Dietrich here again with our presentation and Rachel Silvashi. She's my former client and she's a medical professional.
going to talk a little bit about the insurance companies and how the insurance companies are always looking to cut you off from treatment and to give you less than what we believe you're entitled to. Rachel, tell us a little bit about what happened to you. So I was riding my bike and I was going across the side street and the car was coming up to stop at a stop sign mm -hmm. and it did not stop. Mm -hmm. It hit me. And this is in the city of Buffalo? Yes. And did you come out of work right away? No, I did not. And ultimately mm -hmm. you did not retain a lawyer right away? Correct. What inspired you to seek legal counsel at that point? At that point, my injuries were getting worse, and also I kind of had the hassle of the insurance company coming after me, and they were just calling me 24-7 and mm -hmm. you know, trying to get information out of me and trying to say that I didn't injure myself and that I should be fine now and everything else. So at that point, I didn't want to have to deal with them anymore, and I just wanted to deal with someone who knew what they were doing. Again, going back to your inspiration to contact me to represent you, that was the insurance company giving you a hassle as you went along. Mm -hmm. Could you explain a little bit more to the people out there what happens when you're in an accident and you're injured and then you've got these insurance companies, the, the other person's insurance company, yes. paying the medical bills, supposed to reimburse for you for your wages when you come out of work. And ultimately you did come out of work because you had surgery. Yes. So then there was there's a wage issue. Mm -hmm. So describe a little bit more about what the frustration was uh, trying to deal with it yourself, at least initially. Initially, I was trying to talk to them and explain to them what happened and they kept telling me that I didn't say this at the time of the injury and that I was making things up and that it's been a year so I should be fine. They were constantly calling me five or six times a day and hassling me and leaving voicemails and telling me that I needed to get back to them. Basically just trying to get me to take some type of money so that they could be done with it. And ultimately, uh, we started to work together and mm -hmm. handled your case for a long period of time mm -hmm. just because it was your treatment that required a period of time to occur such that we could determine how injured you were to determine how much compensation you were entitled to. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, you had two surgeries. Yes. And ultimately, the result we obtained for you was many, many, many times more than the offer the insurance company made to you. Yes. So, Rachel, you're in the medical uh, field and you work in the medical field with doctors every day. Mm -hmm. And you also work with people who are injured in, in uh, collisions and accidents. So, a lot of times I have patients that come in right after they were seen from an independent medical exam and they're very upset because when they're in the exam the doctors you know are examining them and telling them one thing and saying oh yeah like I really don't think you're doing that well and you know you are really hurt and then they get these reports and the report is completely different from what they were originally told so then the patients are very upset because then they think that they're going to be cut off or their you know, money's gonna be down sure. because of the report. Sure. So then they come to see us to eventually get you know, what our doctor says. Right. And I try to settle them down and tell them, you know, that's the insurance company. Those doctors are working for the insurance company. Right. They're going to say one thing and it doesn't matter what they say because it goes off of the doctor that you're treating from. Right. So usually if I can settle them down, then they're a little bit better, but these doctors, they don't care. They're working for the insurance. I mean, these insurance companies, they don't care. They don't have feelings. They're not working for you. They don't see how you are actually really doing. They Absolutely. are just gonna write something for the insurance company so that they can try to make your case lower. And to get more business in the future because those yeah. insurance doctors, they actually make their money off of doing the exam of the person who's the victim. Mm -hmm. If they say the victim's not injured, then they're gonna get another case to review for the insurance company. And those yeah. insurance companies hire those doctors to say a report that basically is bad for the person who's the victim. So your background, Rachel, in the medical community, working with the doctors who treat my patients and who treated you when you were when you were a victim, when you were injured in your accident, when you came to me, um, we work with you in an effort to rebut those insurance company reports. So like you just referred to, uh, they might write a report saying the person's not disabled, and then we would ask you and your doctors to write a rebuttal report, then we'll create a document saying, here's our report to rebut the insurance company's report. 
uh, keep the wages going, keep the medical treatment going. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't fight for it, a lot of people uh, don't fight or their lawyer may not fight for them and then they don't have their medical treatment paid and then they end up with lifelong injuries that are not corrected medically when they maybe could have been corrected medically and then you're stuck with an injury for the rest of your life. So if you're out there, if you've been injured and it's not your fault, contact me at 716-839-3939. I'm Jed Dietrich. I'm here to help you, especially with the insurance companies. There are strict time limitations applicable to all insurance injury cases. And as Rachel knows, as she works in the medical field, um, if you don't get your bills submitted to no fault promptly, no fault won't pay those bills. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a correlation between the doctor's office, the victim or the, the client, and my office to try to make sure everything runs smoothly. And yes, you see that. Correct. Yes. What types of things do you see with that? A lot of things. I mean, our billing department is very good and on top of things. But if you don't have one that is good and on top of things, then everything can tend to be behind and put back on the patient. And then, like you said, they're not receiving their wages and then they're not able to pay their bills. Exactly. And that's what uh, we do with the clients when they first come in. What we did with you, Rachel, is we sat down and said, okay, your case is X. Uh, you were injured. It wasn't your fault. Your medical bills should be paid by this defendant's insurance company. If they haven't been paid, get them to us. We will forward them and, and insist that they be paid. That's the first thing. And then we said, you're entitled to money for your pain and suffering. You're entitled to money for your incapacity to work. You're entitled to money for your future pain and suffering. All of these things are things that you don't think about when you're first injured. That's why you need counsel. You need a lawyer to represent you so that your rights are preserved because there are strict time limitations, strict deadlines that if you miss a deadline, uh, you can be precluded or stopped from getting what you're entitled to. It's a crazy business, but the insurance company and business, the insurance world is set up under strict deadlines and the lawyers are the ones, lawyers like the lawyers in my office and me personally are here to help you. Yes, correct. Is there anything else about your interaction with my office that you'd like other people to, to know about? It was just an amazing experience. I mean, honestly, all of you guys are just completely respectful and prompt on time and just getting, taking care of everything in general was just a weight off my shoulders. I didn't have to deal with the insurance companies hassling me anymore. And I knew that it would be in good hands, that it was going to be taken care of correctly in the right way. So it was just an amazing experience in general. Thank you so much for saying yeah. that and coming Thank in today, you. Rachel. You take care, okay? You good luck. Thank you. Thank you for joining my special guests and me. I hope you've learned something. If I can ever be of service to you, please contact me at 716-839-3939. But I said, who can I call to help me again? Jed Dietrich. Oh, that was amazing. When I got a hold of you guys and you guys took care of everything. It was almost like I felt led to reach out to you. It was almost like I felt led to reach out to you. And I called you and you handled that thing. I mean, you handled it. I calmed right down because you explained everything. You came right to the house. Contact Jed. You guys took that load off of me. What I didn't know, you guys filled me in. I knew that I was in good hands and people that I could trust. Contact Jed. When you're suffering, to know someone is there for you. That means a lot, Jed. Made me feel comfortable that all I had to do was focus on my recovery. You stand by your word. It just felt right. I didn't have to deal with the insurance company anymore. Putting yourselves in my shoes, and I, and I really appreciated that. That means a lot, Jed. I just knew that it was going to be taken care of. Contact Jed. Yeah, you're a real fighter. The whole experience in general was amazing. It was superb. A weight off my shoulders. Contact Jed. Above and beyond. That's someone who you should go for. I would only trust Jed Dutrick. Contact Jed.